We can create the following kind of charts by using microcharts, nougat package, bar chart, donut chart, pie chart, line chart, point chart, and even radial gauge chart. Well, let's discuss the bar chart first. Bar chart is basically in the form of following shape. We have a vertical bar and at the top we have a percentage value and at the bottom we have a name of each product or categories whatever you call it. Well, first I'm going to create the bar chart inside our Xamarin Forms application. So just flip back to the Wheel Studio and inside the main page.xaml, let's add a chart view. Well, this chart view is not a part of XAML or Xamarin Forms. This chart view comes from the NuGet package of Michael Charts that we have installed so far. So let's add a chart view and then import the namespace for this chart view. Well, I have a resharper installed inside my Wheel Studio. If you don't have resharper, then you have to manually set this namespace. Alright, you can also place this chart view inside your containers like stack layout, grid layout, absolute or even relative layout. So if you are not familiar with the layouts then just go to my layout course because I have explained the layouts in detail here. Back to our topic, I'm gonna add a stack layout and place the chart view inside the stack layout. And then just set the vertical options of the stack layout to the center of the page by simply using the vertical options equal center. And here we go. Now let's flip to the code behind file that is mainpage.xaml.cs. And here we go. Now inside this I'm going to add a list of entries for my bar chart control. Well, these bar values are placed inside your entries. Let's add a list of entries, but the tricky thing is that entry is the unique XAML control inside the XAML Forms application. But this entry comes from the microcharts. So in order to adjust this, I'm gonna add a namespace for this entry and set the entry equals to microcharts entry. And here we go. Now just add a list of entries and inside this let's add a new entry object. And this entry asks us to pass the float value as a parameter. Because on the basis of this float value, the bar will be created accordingly. And then we have an option to set the label of this entry. Well, if you want to display the label of your product or category, then just use this label property. And this will create the label at the bottom of the vertical bars. Just like that, if you want to show the value at the top of the bars, then just use the value label property here and pass your value accordingly. And the cool thing is that you can also adjust the colors of the bar according to your choice. But remember that this color is not a XAML or XAML forms control. So it comes from the microcharts package that we have installed so far. So let's add a color equals to color dot parse and then pass your string value. So I have simply copied the color hexa code and paste it here. Just like this, I'm gonna add a new entry object and pass a float value to this entry and assign some values to the properties of this entry. Well, this time I'm gonna create an entry. Just like that, I have copied the code and pasted it here. So now we have four entries. The one shows the average user of Windows, the other tells us the user of Android, and the third tells us the average percentage of iOS users, and the last is the percentage of those who are using operating system other than Windows, Android, and iOS. Right now we have created our entries record, but now the question is what kind of chart you want in your application. 
Well, I want to create a bar chart. So inside the constructor of this page, let's define our chart. But in order to access the chart, I'm gonna name our chart control to chart V or chart view. And here we go. Now we can access the properties of chart by using this chart V name. And now I'm gonna access the chart property and define our bar chart object because I have told you that I am creating a bar chart. So let's add it. And inside this, let's define the properties of the bar chart. Well, you can set the point mode to scale or circle. You can set the point size to any float value. You can set the minimum and maximum value of your bar chart. You can also set the label text size of your choice and just like that you can also set the margin property here and of course you can change the background color of your bar chart but our concern is with the entries well this bar chart will accept all your list of entries and I'm gonna assign this underscore entries to this entry property here and now all done we have created our bar chart successfully but wait for a moment because I'm going to run this application inside our device. So let's run this and there's no issue with the build. And of course, it's deploying to my lollipop emulator. And here we go. The bar chart comes on the screen in a smooth way. So far, we have created the bar chart. In the next module, I'm going to create a line chart. So see you guys in the next module.